So this is how you put a new water filter in your Keurig. This is a Supreme model, so you have your water container, your filter mechanism, and the filter itself. So you're gonna take it over here. You guys soak it in some cold water. You could also soak in a bowl for a few minutes, but basically to get any of the black um, little water bits out, and you can see coming out of this, it's just charcoal, I believe. So it just helps get it out of it. Also soak it too. We're just gonna run water for a moment. Run it through. And it looks nice and clean and moved around. Right, so now we're good to go. It's nice and clean. So you're gonna take this, which is the filter housing, your little push tabs, so you're gonna pop it open. My hands are wet, so it's a little harder. And then this just goes side down like that. And then the tabs just pop back into place. You're gonna take it over to your water container, put this side down, just pop it in. You're gonna just push firmly and it's gonna click. I'll bring it over here so it's easy for me to do. Go. Go. So then it just clicks in place. There we go. It takes a little force to do, so don't be fearful of that. And then you can put your cap back on and then put it back into the Keurig. Just on the side like that, and you're all set. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to cleanse it. So we're gonna bring this over and fill this up with some water. Got the sink, we already have the filter in. That's in a different video of ours. So we're add some water to this. And then put it back in. And then you're gonna open this up, close it. You're gonna to wanna to grab a cup, which I'm over here. You're gonna run an eight ounce cup of water through it. Put it here, hit eight ounce, and then hit the big K to start brewing. So it's gonna run the water through it on the first time you use it to clean it out um, after manufacturing. So give it some time to heat up and it will just run. And then after you do this, you'll be able to put a pot in and use it.